Okay, I'm going to discuss technical details. Um, when it boots, it starts, uh, it, it loads uh, the OS main dot bin. The bootloader loads OS main dot bin. Um, and uh, um, this is the project file for OS main dot bin. The first bit of code is uh, right here include OS start. So it's a flat binary and uh, it starts at OS start. It starts in 16 bit mode. The bootloader hands it off in real mode and uh, it calls some BIOS routines to change to VGA graphics mode 640 by 480. And it calls uh, um, some BIOS calls for information on memory and uh, number of buses and stuff. Anyway, uh, so uh, OS start uh, calls OS end and uh, there's run levels which are uh, um, uh, it's not there it sets bits telling when it uh, when it uh, achieves certain uh, achievements anyway uh, so uh, the last thing uh, the, uh, the 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 start the first task is called Adam he's on the uh, on the uh, the bootstrap processor that's what they call core zero um, I, I like core zero is more clear anyway uh, and when he's done he he uh, it starts off OS main is uh, loaded in to uh, the bottom 640k then it uh, changes to 64 bit mode and it loads in the compiler and uh, finally after it loads the compiler it calls uh, this is like the autoexec.bat file it calls Adam Adam one dot Adam one uh, okay now uh, each task has a symbol table um, it, you can kind of think of it like environment variables except it can have functions and it can have variables and it can have classes and stuff and um, Adam is the first task and uh, each every task has a symbol table it's a hash table Anyway, uh, Adam, uh, when he starts compiling this code, um, these are the headers. These are the main headers for uh, for everything. Um, pretty much everything goes in one header file. Uh, well, there's um, the classes and uh, the classes are most classes and defines are in uh, Adam one A. Uh, the internal um, function headers. Um, these are uh, the bind to bind uh, the uh, assembly routines to uh, C++. Um, you use uh, you use extern to bind uh, assembly label to C++, and uh, it's not it's it's a it's a flavor of C. It's more than C, less than C++. Anyway. Um, the compiler has some built-in functions. It doesn't have inline doesn't have inline functions, but it has some internal functions. I can show you how to uh, add to add one. Um, when I upgrade, uh, sometimes you have to uh, start with the new compiler um, in order to compile code. Anyway, because uh, I make syntax changes. Um, so these are the uh, this is the third header file. These are the uh, uh, regular C externs. Um, so uh, this Atom one is uh, compiled and it loads all those symbols into its table. Um, now uh, line count rep. Uh, so uh, remember we said it starts with OS main. OS main is, uh, this is a line count rep, um, OS main is 25,000 lines. Um, the compiler is, is a binary um, and uh, ahead of time, compiled ahead of time, it's 21,000 lines. So about 50,000 lines is uh, compiled ahead of time. The rest of it, since Adam is the first task, uh, he goes about loading in all those headers 
and then he actually loads in, he compiles a bunch of code just in time. Um, the reason I do it just in time instead of uh, ahead of time is uh, because uh, um, I want to. <laughs> uh, um, you don't need object files, you don't need uh, executable files, and uh, um, I just like it. Anyway, so I tried to do as much ahead of time or just in time as possible and uh, so uh, it starts in uh, it starts in OS main when it boots uh, that's where uh, this Atom 1 file is and uh, then it hands off to Atom 2 which is the next stage um, that's the code that's uh, that's compiled uh, um, during boot so there's a uh, there's about 40,000 lines compiled during boot. Atom 2 is the start. It just includes all these. Uh, some of them um, are uh, directories. Uh, this is the graphics library. Um, I do all the graphics from scratch. Um, here, um, anyway, uh, uh, bitmap has, this is the plot, plot pixel. There's plot. I do plot triangle, plot everything. Um, anyway, uh, GR screen has. Uh, well, first of all, uh, um, there's a there's there's a special task called the window manager task, and um, it updates the screen 60 times a second. Um, it redraws everything. Um, invalidate rectangle doesn't help if you have a full screen video game. Therefore, I don't do invalidate rectangle. I don't care about power. Um, this burns uh, electricity. I like desktops. Anyway, uh, um, so the window manager task uh, calls. Uh, okay, there's there's a um, there's a text layer. There's a persistent layer, and there's a graphics layer. Um, and the this is all done by hand. Um, Anyway, uh, update windows, this routine is called 60 times a second, and uh, it goes through all the tasks on core zero and, um, and calls uh, a call. It, um, all tasks, um, all terminal tasks have a, uh, a document um, for their command line, and uh, um, this uh, goes through the update task docs. It goes through the uh, the uh, document for the command line. It also has a it has a uh, you know how Windows has a uh, a mainframe and a client area. Well, in uh, Sparrow OS, you have an auxiliary, which is the um, the the border that there's a. The border text is done with the document, and then the main client area is done with a, uh, a different document. Um, so uh, um, you can have one window per task, and uh, there's no there's no difference between process, thread, and task. Everything is a task, and uh, every task can have one window if it's on core zero, and uh, Every task has a symbol table. Every task has a heap, and uh, um, child tasks inherit symbols from parents. So, since all symbols, since all all tasks are children of Adam, so uh, they get all those symbols um, that are that were um, loaded in at boot. Anyway, so uh, it calls a uh, update. Um, that that writes to the there's a text layer. It's not B8000. It's a it's actually 32 bits instead of it's got extra attributes for uh, for um, superscript subscript. It's actually done um, with uh, extra attributes. Anyway, so it calls uh, it updates the document. Then you, it can have task can have a draw it uh, for. Uh, Drawing to a um, device context, a callback. Um, now I use this task validate um, because uh, um, normally you wouldn't need this in a regular operating system, but 
Um, this is for you to uh, poke around with. When I had a Commodore 64, I used to uh, modify the um, the ROM, the the basic uh, RAM um, variables and stuff. This is for users to poke around with. So since you're going to be messing around with the task, I uh, I uh, try to make it a little more robust by seeing if it gets a bad task and then bailing out. So task validate is in a lot of places. It checks uh, task validate checks uh, if it's in the, it goes in the lowest two gig um, addresses. Uh, it checks to see if it's um, tasks. The current task is pointed to by the FS uh, segment. Um, you have to in 64-bit mode. You have to set it with the right model specific. Anyway. Um, so the lowest two gig is special um, in uh, Sparrow OS um, because, uh, well, that's um, the lowest two gig is for code. Um, um, I use only call instructions, and calls have uh, anyway. Um, it also puts task records on in the lowest two gig. Inc incidentally, anyway, it has a signature it checks to see if it's. In the queue and stuff. Um, so, uh, oh, then the other thing is controls, uh, scroll bars, and uh, and uh, you can make controls. Those have um, tasks can have controls. Anyway, uh, let me go. Uh, um, so, uh, memory. Um, so. The bootloader relocates itself and loads in OS main at 7C up to 3F or 3C. I have a lot of extra room um, in case it grows in the future. Um, then the um, the page tables are at uh, whatever that is, uh, one meg uh, up to. I, I use. Uh, in 64-bit mode, you have uh, two meg pages. I map everything identity mapped uh, um, with uh, two meg pages, except the lowest uh, two meg, which I map with uh, 4K because uh, it has to uh, um, set the uh, VGA is right through. Um, anyway, uh, so up to the the code. The code uh, heap is uh, is the lowest uh, two gig. That's so that it can use the call relative 32 instruction everywhere. Um, Sparrow OS is uh, ring zero only, so it never leaves uh, ring zero mode. So it has no protections. But it's it's like DOS or like a Commodore 64. Um, they, those didn't have protections. It's intentional that way because uh, when I had a 64, I used to uh, uh, play around with disk blocks and play around with uh, uh, just for fun. You can, um, you know how video games entertain for 30 hours. Well, if this, if you poke around for 30 hours, uh, watch this document uh, dump. Uh, FS points to the uh, um, current uh, what is oh FS FS points to the current uh, task record you see how it's updating live um, there's a uh, live widgets 